The Dilly with Willie. This is our 1899 Hurdle, built by the Oakman Company. Very unique car. Um, starts life with bicycles, as you can see hanging up here. Uh, very much like the bicycles we use today, except that we still don't use wooden rims like they did back then. So as we transferred from bicycles to an automobile, we end up with the 1899 hurdle. Now, if you look close, you can see where the handlebars were, the pedals, the seat. It's two bicycles stuck together. Now, it's the very first American car to have four-wheel independent suspension. It's the first American car you could start from the seat, which is here. And another unique thing is there's no liquid leaves the fuel tank. This car runs strictly on vapors that sucks off the top of the fuel tank. So it's 50 to 55 miles per gallon in 1899. We haven't improved a whole lot on that today. Tiller steering, very simple. And <clears throat> throttle turns here with the hand grip. When you want to start the car, you simply squeeze this lever that releases everything down below. As you pull back, it turns the engine over. When it starts, you let go of that, push that forward, that engages the friction drive. When you want to stop, you pull back, pull all the way back for the brake. So as you can see around here, the friction wheel right here when you put it in gear rubs up against this leather ring and drives the car when you want to stop and you pull back it pulls this block here back into the tire to stop the car in the back is a little two-cylinder engine if you can see back there and it has two mufflers on it has a little generator or a uh, mag on there that creates the electricity to run the replacement for spark plugs it has igniters and so there's no spark plug so it has power coming into here grounds through here as this thing goes back and forth from one cylinder to the other the atmospheric intake valves here and crankshaft and everything is plumb open on the car. So it's a pretty simple design. And that's the Dilly with Willie. Visit the Fountainhead Antique Auto Museum featuring historic cars and fashion, quite simply, second to none.